guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to demonstrate how to how to create a registration form okay using node rate so this is a simple application which i have designed using node rate so i have created one registration form where i'll be giving username password age and mobile as a fields okay and display here into the right side of the screen also we are storing this data into the mongodb database so let me fill the data here so i'll be giving username password age mobile number okay so i have created some validations regarding empty data also if it is empty it is not allowed to submit okay so after filling the data i click on submit so you can see that data has been rendered in the right side of the screen so basically data is stored in the data database and we are retrieving from there and displaying in the screen let me add another data jai omar password you can give anything so after that age that's a number and mobile number at the end so click on submit you can see that data has been displaying here So if you are new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel kindly subscribe so without wasting time let's get started so we are back in the node rate screen so i will be taking an inject node first for the triggering purpose and i'll be taking a form node okay so you can see here that is a form node so that is where we will be adding the form details like username password age everything okay i will be setting this tab as a tab 1 so here i'll be entering all those data like username so for this we have to give some name so i'll be entering that also something like user name only so this will be format of text string purpose string only so i'll be adding that and required so that is mandatory so second will be my password that is also mandatory after that i'll be taking age as a number so this also will keep as mandatory <coughs> and the last phone number or mobile this is also mandatory after that click on done so basically this is not a login form it is a registration form so let me change that after that to connect this so we need mongodb to store this data what are we are entering so before that let us check that data is been displaying or it is being consumed or no okay after the entering into the form so we are going to dashboard now so we can see the form already displayed here so whatever we are enter the data so that is displaying here okay you can see that user name password age mobile number everything is displayed so one more thing we will change the mobile number to text format only 
click on done deploy so in the screen in the screen you can see that we are entering the data username password age mobile everything and click on submit so you can see in the debugger that data is being displaying in the debugger console okay so that is nothing but a data we are entering is properly creating okay so now next job is to store this data into the database so I have used here mongodb node so already configurations has been done here to the database that is the demo is my database name and I need to enter the collection name here so that is nothing but a node red which I already created and insert is a operation okay after that so you can see the database here the demo and the node red is a collection so after that let me rearrange properly so connect to the database now and add the debugger here connect it so I am using a published node here so I will explain it in the later so don't get confused So you can give just name anything and a topic m data click on done okay click on deploy so i guess we can test this flow okay whether the data is being storing into the database or no so add some data here each mobile number click on submit so in this debugger we can see that data has been entered properly into the database so we are getting the responses from the database below you can see the result here okay is one and number of input is one okay we can check this in the database also So here is my collection click on refresh yeah the data has been reflecting here okay so next up is I'm trying to show this database or a data into the screen itself right side of the screen okay so basically I have used pubs up basically like uh, we are triggering the one node after storing into the database we have to get the database data and store it or display it into the screen so that that's the reason I have used pub and sub here so this is my second flow here where I will get the data from MongoDB and display into the screen The topic which I have written here, M data, should be the same as into the subscriber also. Click on done. Okay. After this, I need to take a MongoDB node again to fetch the data. So I'll be using MongoDB three here okay so configuration is also same thing so add to the collection name and here will be aggregate for a to array so that all the data should be get and display into the screen get data from database click on done 
okay after that so we have to use text node so text node basically to display the data into the screen okay so here is a text node drag and drop here connect it so select one of the layout which you want to display right side of the screen so i'll be selecting that connect to the database so this will help us to show the data into the screen okay click on done deploy okay so there is one data here i will delete it so we can start from the fresh itself so as you can see right side there is no data at all so we will try to enter some data now which should display in the right side of the screen and also data should be stored into the database username password age and mobile number i'm entering here so click on submit so you can see that data has been fetched and displayed into the screen successfully so you can check in the database also it is reflected or no yeah we can see that data has been stored properly we can try to add another data click on submit yes we are successful here to get the data from the database and display in the screen you can see in the database also so label i can change it to user data or user form okay so click on deploy so i hope you guys have learned something useful from this video thanks a lot guys for watching this video hope you like this content kindly do subscribe like and comment down below if you want more videos like this thanks thanks a lot guys